Hello students this is Amar Roy once again in front of you with another chapter of social studies that is striving for equality now before moving forward i would like to request you all if you haven't subscribed our youtube channel immediately subscribe our youtube channel and press the bell icon for future notification updates so with all that said let's start our chapter what is the meaning of striving children striving means to try very hard for something and striving for equality means how we are trying hard to get equality in our country so students in this chapter we will be studying about different topics that are meaning of prejudice stereotypes social and economic differences discrimination and inequality caste and untouchability constitutional provisions for equality so students let's start the chapter by an introduction of our country india you all have studied in previous classes that india is a country of diversity there is diversity in almost every field of human life and even in the environment so that is why when our constitution was framed children then the constitution framer were also aware of the challenges before the country so they gave india a constitution that would provide a base of a healthy and all around development of the country hamare constitution makers ne kuch important cheezon ko mind mein rakha law banate time these important points were equality liberty liberty means freedom children fraternity fraternity means brotherhood justice etc एंड ये सारी पॉलिसीज गवर्नमेंट को फॉलो करनी पड़ती है सेंट्रल और स्टेट लेवल पे टू रूल ओवर अ कंट्री द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन यू कैन से प्रोवाइड फॉर द इक्वेलिटी ऑफ ऑल इंडिविजुअल्स इन एवरी फील्ड ऑफ लाइफ इरेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ देयर सोशल इकोनॉमिक कल्चर बैकग्राउंड चिल्ड्रन इट डजेंट मैटर कोई कहीं से भी बिलोंग करता हो एवरीबडी हैज टू बी गिवन इक्वेलिटी इन अवर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बट द क्वेश्चन अराइजेस क्या लोगों को एक्चुअल में समाज में इक्वलिटी मिलती है दिस इज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस चैप्टर इन अवर कंट्री विच इज फुल ऑफ डाइवर्सिटी हमें अलग अलग तरह के लोग मिलते हैं अलग अलग तरह का उनका खान पान है अलग अलग तरह का कल्चर है उनका वी सी लॉट्स ऑफ वेराइटीज अराउंड सब लोगों के ओपिनियन एटीट्यूड थाट्स ये सब भी अलग अलग होते हैं इन स्पाइट ऑफ हैविंग सो मैनी डाइवर्सिटीज अराउंड we are not different from each other students we all are citizens of india we should have equality in our country but what is happening in our country instead of understanding people properly we usually form a negative opinion about some people which results in building a certain certain prejudice so students now it's time to discuss about what is prejudice students prejudice means judging other people in a negative way or thinking them as inferior one can be judged against his religion skin color way of dressing food languages etc these prejudices prevent us from getting close to each other students let me explain you with an easy example for an example a new person comes in your society to live and he used to wear dhoti kurta or kurta pajama as soon as you will see that person you might recall some things in your mind like are ye to village area se aaya hai are ye kam padha likha hai ya ye garib hai without knowing him you have framed these words for that person in your mind maybe that person is fond of his culture that's why he is wearing dhoti kurta maybe he is more educated than what you are thinking or maybe he is not poor he is having more money than other people's living in your society the thoughts which you have created for that person in your mind by looking at his dressing sense will be known as prejudice and students these prejudice can hurt someone's feeling very badly so at last i can say that prejudice is an obstacle in the road to equality this prejudice or preconceived idea leads to the creation of stereotype that means 
if we generalize all people of a particular group into one image we create a stereotype how let me give you some examples generally you must have heard in our society that girls cry easily even you might have heard with your parents to your brother or a male child that kya ladkiyon ki tarah ro rahe ho then what is this students all the girls only cry don't the boys ever cry sometimes you must have heard that villagers are very simple and city folks are very cunning is it true no not at all so these are the negative images that which we have formed about a particular group of people few more examples are it is believed in our society that people who can speak in english are superior boys are generally good at games and girls are only good at household works these are all the negative images which we have formed for a particular group and they are against the equality now let's talk about another obstacle in the road of equality that is social and economic differences students beside various regional cultural religious and linguistic diversities some social and economic diversities prevail in india leading to social and economic inequalities in that term the very first one is social inequality india also faces the problem of social inequality the age old hierarchical caste system is an example of this inequality means hamari society ka jo caste system hai wo ek example hai inequality ka caste system refers to the casteism into which the people were divided earlier on the basis of the work they used to do if you know children in the very first chapter i told you that our society was divided into four varnas in during later vedic age when the vedas were written during that time only our society was divided into four parts that were brahmanas kshatriyas vaishyas and shudras these were known as caste system but they were made according to the work they used to do brahmanas performs rituals worships and they used to educate other people kshatriyas do wars and prevent their country and trade was looked after by vaishyas and shudras did menial work and served other varnas menial work means a type of work where no special skill are required students this was the type of caste system which was prevalent earlier in our society but this caste system went on and on in our society and with the time nowadays it is leading to an inequality in our society all these practices took away the enthusiasm of an individual over the period of the time and created a situation of inequality people were deprived of educational opportunities they failed to get good jobs and then remain ignorant and poor throughout their life this led to economic inequality pardon me this led to economic inequality now economic inequality comes when a person does not have the resource of the opportunities that are available to other persons unequal distribution of wealth among the people in country resulted in economic inequality according to the money wise india is divided into three classes of people and what are these students they are rich class middle class and poor class and among them the poor class people are not able to fulfill their basic needs and what are the basic needs of life that are food cloth and shelter roti kapda makan these three are the basic needs which poor people cannot fulfill in their life this economic equality leads to discrimination in society let us discuss about discrimination students discrimination means to differentiate people on the basis of their class race gender religion and economic background etc in spite of an individual's skill and qualification and it leads to the backwardness and creation of conditions where some certain people fail to lead a life of dignity and respect so students we can say discrimination can take place on the basis of religion race 
caste, gender, etc. Now, my dear students, let us again discuss the caste system in detail. As I told you, the society was divided into four castes, and the caste system with the time became hereditary. Hereditary means the person of a Brahman family will become a from Brahman only, and a child of a Shudra will become a Shudra only. This system was called hereditary system, but it overlooked a person's potential and enterprise and denied the opportunities to compete, and it divided the nation. Shudras were at the bottom of the caste system and were termed untouchables. They were forced to lead a cursed life on account of their birth in a low caste, that is the Shudras. Unko students koi bhi benefit nahi milta tha. Samaj mein equality bhi nahi milti thi. These Shudras were not supposed to live inside the villages. Unke ghar village ke bahar banaye jate the. They could not draw water from the village well. They were excluded from all types of religious programs. They were not provided any opportunities to grow in their life. That is why, by the time Shudras became marginalized section of the society, marginalized section means the people who are left behind in the process of development due to any reason. So these untouchables or the Shudras were left behind. the progress and became marginalized there were many great reformers also who raised their voice against this caste system like raja ram mohan roy swami vivekananda swami dayanand saraswati jyotiba phule mahatma gandhi etc they all worked together for a long period of time to provide dignity or self respect to the untouchables the constitution also refers these untouchables as scheduled castes or scs so they call themselves as dalits let us discuss something which have been done in our constitution for these peoples the untouchability has always been a curse for our country curse means abhishap ya shrap when our constitution was made it was built on the basic idea of equality for all Dr B R Ambedkar who was the chairman of the constitutional assembly that framed our indian constitution he also belonged to a lower caste named mahar which was also a lok which was also a untouchable caste so he himself has experienced the caste based discrimination during his childhood and also in the later age of his life so he raised his voice against this caste discrimination and demanded equal respect as well as right for the untouchables he fought for the rights of untouchables along with mahatma gandhi the lower caste were exploited by the privileged groups especially the landlords and this resulted into a new practice of bandhua mazdoor what is bandhua mazdoor in this system of bonded laborers the poor laborers were made to work for the landlord all through their lives and even from generation to generation without paying any money to them this was done on the pretext that the workers have to pay back a loan that they or their forefathers may have taken so this was also a type of inequality which was being followed in our country another section of our society which faces inequality that are tribals tribals are also ignored with time and they have been exploited by others students tribals actually live in the natural surroundings in the hilly regions and they are completely depend upon forest for their survival they live in a primitive manner and serve their distinct culture customs traditions and languages although the government of india has taken several initiatives as an effort to bring these tribals into the mainstream of social life now students let us discuss how our country is striving for equality india gained freedom in 1947 but our constitution makers realized that political freedom was meaningless unless it was accompanied by social and economic quality thus they made provisions for the equality to all the people of india the constitution of india 
contains all rules laws and regulations for everybody now students we will discuss some important articles which are mentioned in our constitution which gives equality to the people of our country as i told you that the constitution of india contains all rules laws and regulations for everybody now let us discuss them one by one the very first one was the article 14 Article 14 guarantees to every person equality before law and equal protection of law within the territory of India. The next one was Article 15. Article 15 does not allow any discrimination based on religion, race, caste, gender or birthplace. Another one was Article 16. Article 16 provides equality of opportunity to all citizens in matter of public employment. it gives power to the state to make provisions for the disadvantaged groups seats have been reserved for scs and sts in different occupations even students these seats have been reserved in the legislation and in educational institutes also my dear students caste system still exists in india the effect of centuries of advantages and disadvantages continues to be felt even today In 1993 the Indian Parliament made a law against this caste system also with the different rules made for these type of peoples now the literacy rate is rising among the scs and a reasonable and a reasonable number of people from scs are entering into various professions like civil services engineering medical law teaching etc one thing we must remember students that there is no place for prejudice or discrimination in our society the last article was article 17 article 17 declares that untouchability is abolished and practice is forbidden in any form in this way the constitution of india provides rights for the freedom of speech right to freedom of practicing any religion or religious practices there is no official religion in india students all religions are equal before the eyes of law this is called secularism secularism or a secular state is a place where all religions are treated equally that is why students india is considered a secular country in, and in india people now have begun to understood and respect one another and respect their religious practices also so there are less conflicts of communal rights another few points are increase in literacy rate greater interaction among peoples of different region and different religions have helped in developing better understandings and tolerance among the masses third students we have seen equality is the basic requirement for any progressive society so at last all i can say that being a responsible citizen of india i hope that you all will follow the rules you all will follow the equality in your society thank you